Should you be throwing away your dead disposable vapes? The short answer is no, but what can they be used for? Literally never smoked, hit a vape ever. Something that piqued my interest and it was something that was wasteful and you know, I was like, oh, I can, I can take a stab at this. Just to say like, you know, hey, I made this and now it charges my laptop. Every single day an alarming 500,000 vapes are discarded in the US alone. That's over a hundred million a year, at least. Jonathan's goal is to take the cells out of these disposed of vapes and repurpose them to make things like flashlights, power chargers for your laptop, even e-bikes, but he's not quite there yet. Uh, I typically just use pliers with like a little sharpened edge. Um, you have to be careful because, you know, if you crush the vape itself, you're probably crushing the battery too and lithium batteries are dangerous, hence why I'm even doing this, right? They're in everything. Like your phone has a lithium battery in it. Uh, like your battery like jackeries and battery backups have, you know, cameras, etc. Everything runs on lithium ion batteries. A lot of the cells he salvaged have been too small. And the 18650s, which are bigger cells, can be used to accomplish those bigger goals like flashlights. But if the cells are broken, Jonathan still wants to find a way to recycle them, yet he's having a hard time figuring out where they can go. So lithium batteries are kind of just in this no man's land of, I don't know anyone that's recycling them, at least not yet. The market likely isn't profitable in any capacity. The batteries are so cheap that it's easier for factories to just keep making more of them than it is to repurpose them. Someone was putting her vapes in, right? Because she knew that she wasn't supposed to throw them away, but she didn't know what to do with them, right? And I was like, put them in a shoebox instead and I'll try and get something going or someone will get something going so you can recycle them appropriately. And even though this is just a pet project for people like Jonathan, spreading awareness is equally as important. Hopefully more changes will be made in the future in order to accept lithium batteries instead of disposing of them in dangerous ways.